Year. You guys don't, I walk, I've been walking around all day, not one person's gone. The only time someone was excited that I was coming back was when Rocky made the introduction right then. <laughs> Nobody, I was, I, mean, I was at lunch, I was at breakfast, nobody went, hey man, you're back. <laughs> Even the meeting planners didn't recognize me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't have the beard. Oh, really, I'm just back to see if that dude found his jacket. Um, <laughs> Did that happen or not? That guy find his jacket? I, in fact, I'm not even getting paid. I paid my own way to get here just to find out <laughs> if the dude got his jacket back. The people who weren't here last year are going, what's he talking about? <laughs> secret, it's a secret. I've been here all day, it's been a great day. Um, I, I saw part of Andrew's presentation that was cool that the CEO got to wear jeans, but apparently on our little thing it said <laughs> khakis. <laughs> little thing said khakis. A little name tag. Did somebody not give the name tag to Andrew? Because <laughs> it clearly stated business casual khakis. It is an honor to be back here, and uh, it's always an honor to come back, and uh, we had a lot of fun last year in Vegas, and if you remember, we played some improv games. For those of you who weren't here, we played some improv games and looked at things through a different perspective and see what you guys can take back to make you even more successful, and obviously the theme, you know, today and, and tomorrow is innovation, and that fits perfectly with what improvisation does and what it's all about, so I figured we'd play some more improv games see what happens, and maybe talk a little bit how they affect innovation, and maybe pick up a few aha moments. Here's the goal. I want you guys to have fun. I want you to laugh, enjoy yourselves. We work hard. We deserve to have fun. Plus, you know, I know you spent all this time at the conference, hopefully learning, networking, a little woo, but you guys, <laughs> you learn, you network. But here's the goal. We want to have fun, and we want to create some energy and have fun. And through that fun, though, I want to talk a little bit about teamwork and communication and passion and leadership. But the most important thing is we, we want to have fun. <laughs> Give yourselves a round of applause. Give it a shot. Let me hear you. Nice. Good. Got some wooing. Good. Got some wooing. That was a little extended. Now, I want to take it one little step further. Turn the person to your left. Turn the person to your right. Look them right in the eye and go, you know what? I'm good. I do a good job here at the old bridge point. Do a good job. Do a good job. Nice. <laughs> These guys are shaking hands up front. Hi, right, nice to meet you. <laughs> That's, that, that round of applause is important, and, and some of you did this extremely well. Some of you are like, you better believe I'm good. <laughs> and some of you were a little shy. Some of you are like, I'm good. You're way better. I'm not as good. <laughs> That's okay. You know, you obviously have passion for what you do or would even be here, right? We have that passion and energy, and even though we're passionate about something, we still have days where we get frustrated and we get impatient, we build stress, and next thing you know, our stress is up here and our passion's down there, and that's our passion for everything, right? That's our fuel for our success, for, for what we want to accomplish. Hey, have you ever seen I, the sprinkler? Yeah, let me see it. <laughs> Are you challenging me to a dance-off? We're digging. Well, why don't you bring me a shovel? Okay. Bring it, yeah, bring it, because I didn't got one over here. I got, man, I can stretch it out, though, I tell you right now. Here. You got it? Yeah, here. All right. Let me Take grab, it. Let me just. Anytime. Me, yep, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lefty-righty. Okay. 
two-handled shovel. Yeah. Uh, how can I help you be successful? That's all. That's all I want to know. Um, I don't. I don't. Hmm. <laughs> that's a really. Oh man, that's a that's a head scratcher. That's a head scratcher indeed. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'm really thinking on this one. Maybe. I Wait. Think, um. Maybe a little applause, a little jumping for joy. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, I'm going to encourage you. Yay! Oh. Yay! Yay! <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop! We're onions right now. On onions for the spaghetti. With our hands. Yeah. <laughs> it's the new, it's the new yeah. thing. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a hammer time what? over there. <laughs> Can I help you with anything? Bow, wow, 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 wow. Hammer time. <laughs> I'm falling down on the job and haven't given you a spoon. I got it. But I'm not going to look at you, though. <laughs> that was great. That's my favorite game. That's, uh, that's one of my very favorite games. I've been doing that game 17 years. The, also, my favorite message is in that game. You can do anything you want in these improv games. You can be loud, you can be quiet, you can be a leader, you can be creative. You can do anything you want. There's only one thing you can't do. You can't quit. You can't give up. You can't go, oh, it's too hard, too embarrassing. I'm not very good at this. You can't quit. Now, nobody up here has quit. I, I've seen it happen. And once you quit, <laughs> game's over, falls apart, right? And so what we have to do, what the choice is, what the improv game is trying to force us to do is to stay in the game. And once we stay in the game, great things happen. We're going to be successful. It, it might not be immediate, right? But we're going to be successful. As long as we stay in the game, learn from our mistakes, help each other be successful, be open and flexible to change, create opportunity and positive support, listen to each other, we're going to be successful. Best message I ever learned. I apply it to my business, how I perform, everything. As long as I stay in the game, I know I'm going to be successful. It might not be tomorrow or next week, or next month, or even next year, but I know I'm gonna be successful as long as I stay in the game. Anybody can quit. You don't even have to go to school to learn how to quit. That is easy stuff. It is easy to quit. There's no PowerPoint presentation. You don't have to have a plan. You don't have to have an upside down triangle or interlocking circles. You don't have to have any of that. No budget. It's pretty easy, there's no work. But to stay in the game, that's hard. You might have to learn something new. You might have to get out of your comfort zone. You might have to try something different. You may have to communicate, lead. It's hard. But guess what? When you stay in the game, that's the reward. That's why it's so rewarding in that journey when you're successful, because you stay in the game. You're driving, you're, you're scared. Or constipated, either way. <laughs> Scared or same, almost the same thing a lot of times. Either way. Now. Break! Break! <laughs> Thanks for making me run that last mile. That was awesome! Whee! Yay! Yay! I'm going to Superman the Pride at the Six Flags! But I don't know! I don't want to go to Six Flags! I don't even know why I'm still driving! I'm so sad! Why can't we go to Disney World? Why don't we have enough money to go to Disney World, Dad? <laughs> and when did my child start hitchhiking? Oh. Oh. Hold me. <laughs> Grab the wheel! Oh, jeez! Or a pottery barn or like a crate and barrel. They won't have that in Alaska.
They've got roads there, though. <laughs> I'm going to go, too, okay? This is so awesome. Woo! Okay, All right. awesome. You're not even watching the road. I don't have to. No, you I'm don't. I'm just so excited. I know. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I gave them something and you gave them something. Just a quick message here. I gave them opportunity to work together as a team, to focus, to listen, to communicate. And then you gave them something. You gave them positive support. Did you notice the more you laughed and applauded, the more they did? And you would laugh and applaud and they would do even more? It's an amazing chemistry, opportunity and positive support. And when you put those two things together, it's amazing what people can accomplish. And you guys know this, obviously, right? Opportunity and positive support. You know, I don't always speak to fun groups like yourselves. Sometimes I speak to financial planners or lawyers. <laughs> and let me tell you something, most of corporate America does not look like, woo, yeah, ah! <laughs> it doesn't happen that way. I hate to tell you, you guys got, you're in a good place, don't ever leave. <laughs> I'm just telling you, you don't want, don't ever leave. <laughs> It's, there's no skits usually out there. <laughs> Maybe some of you go, no skits? I'm sign me up. I'd like to, <laughs> like to work at the company with no skits. Uh, but you know what? I could take three, and I did last week. I was speaking to the most boring financial planners you ever want to meet. And I can take three shy, introverted financial planners, and they played the game just as well. They did. And they, you would have laughed. You been, I was so proud of them because all they needed was opportunity and positive support. It's a magic chemistry. And when you put those two things together, it's amazing what people can accomplish. And you know what? That's what you want, that's what your associates want. Everybody at Camden, your, your residents, your partners, your vendors, everybody you have contact with, we all want those two special things. But we don't give those two things enough, right? And so we gotta make sure that we, we continue to give that. Every day when you go home from work, think about all the people you had contact with, your residents, your associates, vendors, partners, whoever. Say, did I give the people that deserved it positive support? And said, man, yesterday, I was really busy today. And that's okay. Then tomorrow, that's why we're thinking about it as we're going home. Then tomorrow, send an email, send a voicemail. If next time you see them, go, hey, I forgot yesterday. Thank you. Or have I ever told you how much we appreciate you being here, being a resident here? I mean, when was the last time we said that? You know, it's the best gift you could ever give anybody. It's better than bacon. But that's, that's, it doesn't take hardly any time. It just says, thank you, I appreciate you, you did a great job. And then we match it with opportunity. Some of us are really good about standing up and saying, hey, this is what I need here to be happy. That's, you know, and some of us aren't very good about that. Doesn't mean we're not the best associate, the best manager. Just means we're not very good at verbalizing what we need sometimes. But, and we, as the leaders here in the room, we need to reach out, we need to help, right? When's the last time we asked? your associates, the people, your team, hey, what do you need here to be happy? And you'd be surprised by the answer. It's not more money. That happiness only lasts till next week, the next paycheck. What we want is something else. We want the opportunity to have more uh, customer interaction or the opportunity to be a leader or the opportunity to give ideas or take more responsibility. There's a lot of opportunities. And you'd be surprised how easy it is as leaders to give that opportunity. And then match it with positive support, amazing. Think about what they did as a team. They worked together, they helped each other be successful, they supported each other, they listened, they focused, they communicated, they showed passion, they showed energy, right? Isn't that what we want our teams to be right there? I didn't tell them to do any of those things. All I told them was the order of the emotions and they took everything else and ran with it. It's an amazing chemistry. These choices, improv forces us to make these choices. Nothing outside these doors are forcing us to make any choice. And improv, is a, it's a great art form. It forces you to make these choices. If they don't, pfft, falls apart. So they have to. And they naturally want to make these choices. Your associates naturally want to make these choices. We just gotta create the right foundation. And the two magic tools there, opportunity and positive support.